When I was 17 years old, um, I had a friend, it was my, my boyfriend by that time, who was a university student and I am a first generation academic in my family as well. So I've never had access to university. Um, moreover, I grew up on the countryside, so there was no university around. Uh, it is not that in my everyday life I would walk past a university, there was simply no university there. So. When I was 17, my uh, boyfriend at that time took me to university and he said, look, uh, I have a class and I'll go to attend my class. And um, he invited me to go to the library uh, in the meantime because I had to prepare a project for school at that time. And he said, look, you can sit here in the library, you'll find all kinds of information and you can prepare your project. I'll go to my class and when I come back, I'll pick you up here. And I sat in this library and I was too scared to get up and pick a book out of the shelf because I thought, oh, maybe people will recognize that I don't belong here and that I must not be here, which did not have any factual basis because it is an open library and of course people can go there. But I didn't know. And I will never forget this feeling of sitting there um, not being able to move around, not being able to feel comfortable because I felt that this is not where I should be. And at the same time I felt this is where I want to be. The I Belong project is an EU funded Erasmus Plus project uh, in higher education in which we work with uh, six partners from five different countries in designing and developing uh, interventions to impact the sense of belonging and academic outcomes of our students in higher education. The strategy um, of um, I Belong, of the activities of um, the project Hashtag I Belong, um, are mostly, for me, the best part is that they are having a very holistic um, approach. So um, they're not only saying uh, we have to look at, at the deficits of students, but also at the um, interaction that is happening, that really happens at university, because interaction is very important to feel that you belong somewhere. And it's not only the interaction with your peers, but it's also the interaction with the staff from the university, with the people around you, and the interaction has to be, um, has to be like, valuable for everybody and inclusive and that's exactly where the I Belong project um, like starts. They try to um, improve the interaction and the dynamic, the communication between staff, between peers and between university. Germany is one of the richest countries in the world and still we have a lot of problems with social inequality. And that is what you see exactly in higher education and um, the, the way somebody takes from one part of society to the other is always through higher education. And higher education is still not including enough for those who come from parts of society that are not rich or not well. So Germany has a big responsibility to um, make higher education more inclusive for everybody. On the one hand we can talk about personal experiences, how people are linked to their particular environment in a university, but we can also answer to this question on a structural or data basis. And I think if we start with the data, we may conclude that in Germany in general, not especially or particularly in our university, in Germany in general, um, well, inclusion in higher education is an issue because Germany has been criticized many times by the OECD to have an academic system that is not open towards first generation academics, for example. And also, if we talk about students with a migration background, our system is not as open as it should be. If you look at the data, it shows us clearly that the um, general proportion in society um, regarding academic and non-academic um, families and also families with or without migration background is not reflected in our academic environments.
The main message of um, my session was that we need to be color brave in order to contribute to sense of belonging. We need to acknowledge uh, where people are coming from. We need to acknowledge the challenges they face, but also the richness uh, that they bring to the table. Um, and I think that is, you know, um, a big challenge, especially in the Dutch context, that we tend to be colorblind and we really want to encourage uh, a color brave approach. The three um, intellectual outputs we are working on as uh, the I Belong team uh, are interrelated. Um, very important for the sense of belonging of students in uh, higher education uh, are quality interactions uh, among peers, uh, so the fellow students, uh, and also between students and their staff members. So the first um, intellectual output addresses the quality of interactions between students and uh, their teaching staff. Uh, and we name uh, this first intellectual output uh, the staff-student dialogue days. The dialogue days are it's a day at the start of the term of the first year at university to help university students settle into university. We look at a range of things such as diversity at university, we look at a sense of belonging and we really get all these feelings together to help build a community feel at university. I think the most important thing about dialogue days, and it is an area which can go wrong if it's not done correctly, is that these relationships are the most important uh, in terms of your teacher relationship uh, between tutors and uh, the students, and also for student academic mentors, and that's only achieved if we are there. Um, so this, the, what I'd advise is that there's a, the personal tutors or any kind of tutors that are involved in these uh, students' progress, that they are there, that they are working with them. They are not just in and out, they are there as it represents them well. And it also gives a good message to the students that they are here, they are wanting to learn about their diversity so they can adapt to their needs. From those dialogue days, uh, the, the staff, um, members who are involved in the dialogue uh, with the first year students uh, are also uh, participating as a team in the second intellectual output, which is a team teacher reflection. Uh, so the entire first year staff team is um, discussing topics of uh, diversity, of inclusiveness, and what it means to teach inclusively in higher education as a team. And this is really something new, um, because mostly teachers are um, uh, professionalized on an individual level. And now we address this important discussion uh, about uh, diversity, sense of belonging and inclusion in higher education from a team, staff team perspective. I got really inspired by the um, uh, teacher team um, program, because we now have a new study that combines all of the four different social studies so we have we categorize them in four and now from this year on we put them together and then it's social work and you see that the population of student is very diverse um, and the population of the stu of the teachers um, is all kind of the same actually they're all um, white males who teach and the students are a lot of uh, female students, uh, students of color, and you see that if you then uh, handle subjects in social studies, that they cannot relate to how the students feel. And that's already a struggle now, and uh, students come to us and tell us, uh, I have no feeling with my teacher because he doesn't know where I come from, what I tell him, or how I feel. So we are facing some problems at the university. So I do think we should have a, um, a reflection program for teachers. So that this day I got really inspired by that. An important part of uh, creating a sense of belonging is to uh, talk about the, the difficult uh, topics that are related to exclusion. Um, so what are some of the um, uh, mechanisms that are at play that um, make people feel like they don't belong. And these are uncomfortable conversations 
and um, oftentimes, especially for teachers, it's very difficult to find a constructive approach to have these uncomfortable conversations. And this is actually uh, the main focus of the team teacher reflections. And the third intellectual output uh, is focused on the student level. Uh, students um, who participated in the dialogue days as first year students uh, are offered the possibility to uh, get a student peer mentor. Our student peer mentors are second year students in higher education who also participated in the uh, dialogue day from the perspective of the second year students uh, and they are trained as community builders. So we have designed and developed a training for um, our second year students so that they can be a mentor for the new enrolling and first year students. So um, I'm a member of the community mentoring um, at the University of Osnabrück and we um, try to help first semesters and that's also um, first generation students to feel comfortable at university with um, special topics or um, just with any question about the city or financial aspects. So that's pretty important for us. If we talk about those students who may be disadvantaged in academic access, we focus on little projects such as mentoring projects. Um, there are very committed working groups here in our university who put an eye on these students, um, welcome them individually, ask questions, empower them in their particular role that they play in the academic environment. I think this is, you know, an important part of uh, the work that we do is that we try uh, not to just think um, about these questions in terms of research or policy, but to really think about the experiences, the lived experiences of the students that we serve and um, how we can um, um, facilitate, you know, a academic experience that is a empowering experience that is a fruitful experience and that really um, uh, engages students in um, a process of uh, self-reflection and empowerment. Sense of belonging um, is really a fundamental need we all have. Um, and if you lack a sense of belonging uh, in an environment in which you participate, uh, it can impact your motivation and your success. So it's really important to experience a sense of belonging in higher education if you are a student. It helps the students feel a sense of belonging because not only can they identify diversity in themselves that might, they might not have necessarily noticed, but they can also recognise the diversity around them and understand the differences and similarities also between people on their course to help them feel more part of the community. Respecting my identity helps me, you know, makes me feel welcome there but also don't look at my identity when you want to support me, look at my potential kind of, because you know what I mean, so like it's I think it's about doing the right thing, but also considering the feeling of students. So, um, personally, I do feel belonging. I belong at the university I go to. Um, to feel at home, to be myself, and that I know that um, they know who I am. That I'm not just a number of students, but they know my story, that they know how they have to counsel me, um, but that I also can be open about what I feel and what I think and how I see myself being a student. When we talk about sense of belonging, I think it's really important to be mindful of what it means to be underrepresented or what it means to be one of the few in your institution. And um, at the multiplier event, we did an exercise where people had to kind of um, step into the shoes of someone who 
um, was not like them. So you had to envision and empathize with what it means to be underrepresented and to move through an institution every day and to answer questions that you may not think about when you're part of the majority. I think it is very important to finally realize that I do have the right to be at the university and that it is a particular value that I can bring into the academic environment. To belong somewhere, for me, um, the teachers take an important role because um, and their way to look at somebody and if you feel like you were seen by a teacher, that made you feel um, good. Well, I believe that um, the responsibility of changing or drive change is not only at higher education, but also in society. So um, everything that is happening now has been happening for over decades. And everybody tried to change it and it feels like we are like hamsters in a wheel running and running. And we try our very best, but I still feel like it's a long way to go. And we really need attention, we need people standing up and um, kind of make a little revolution at higher education. I feel it's necessary right now. Mm -hmm.